can you tell us like what you found in relation to an autistic person's like baseline state um, yeah. in terms of like pain? C certainly, uh, I'll tell you that. Let me just circle back to what An And was saying and Vikram was also uh, talking about. I just want to pick up on uh, two things that need to go hand in hand for the perception of others to, to actually, um, you know, be in line with what is actually happening. Um, very often, uh, the difference between mental intent and physical volition is, is, is ignored in, 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 in autism. And these are two fundamentally different things, and yet they are hand in hand. They go hand in hand. When, when, when mental intent, which is the, uh, the thoughts and the desires that you have for things that you want to do and intend to do, um, does not match uh, physical volition, which is the ability to control your body at will. And that's something that the brain has to ma master. And it's a very difficult problem for which there is no current solution because there, we otherwise we would see autonomous robots walking around and doing things around the house for us. And the best scenario is Roomba. And that's not it because it doesn't have the degrees of freedom of the body in motion of an anthropomorphic body that has uh, a lot of different parts that to to twitch and and to and to rotate and to translate and so forth and so physical volition is a challenge it's a challenge for somebody like me as a mathematical modeler as a computational model it's a challenge for me to come up with equations that make it an uh, make a robot behave autonomously that physical volition the ability to have a as something like the brain to control motions at will is a challenge. But when everything goes well and neurotypical development uh, goes and all the milestones are hit and so on and so on, the brain does control the body at will. Now, now you may have somebody that has the mind with intent to control his or her body at will. But that bridge between that intention from the mind, from the mental intention that the brain has over the body may not be realizable in a way that you expect as an observer. 